Is there a guru inside all of us? Is innate knowledge of this reality accessible through the magic of our brains being a receiver of consciousness? This is Skull Babylon and you're about to listen to episode 113 of Paradigm Shift Radio, in which we aim to practice and find out firsthand by playing Guru O Guru, an interactive community game in which one person at a time takes turns being the guru, and then others ask them anything and everything to which they tune in and provide a response to. Lots and lots of questions were brought up ranging from the meaning of life, understanding infinity, whether or not aliens exist, how to cultivate patience, motivation, inspiration, how to become more psychic, and much, much more wisdom and insight. You are more knowledgeable than you know. Tune in again for future episodes, find all the past episodes online, share the show with your friends as a means to awaken consciousness further, continue the conversations where you are, try the game for yourself, and keep spiraling out. Namaste fellow gurus, enjoy the show, one love. Guru, O oh Guru, the ancient wisdom is inside of you. Greetings international friends, once again, this is your good buddy Brendan, aka Skull Babylon, aka the person with many names, but what's in a name after all? You know, it's just a little fractal of the whole, but this is Paradigm Shift Radio. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in to another fun, educational, entertaining, and inspirational, and encouraging episode that we have here tonight. So tonight's episode is going to be a very, very special one, and we're going to get into this pretty soon. We're going to get into this right off the start. There's not too much that I need to go over in terms of community news. Tonight's episode is the Guru O Guru game. So the way how this game is going to work is, uh, first of all, it was introduced to us by our good friend Bonnie, who is part of the Paradigm Shift community. So shout out to Bonnie for bringing this up. This game is very interesting, and we actually did it in the physical Paradigm Shift London community, meaning that we had recently, just on Friday. And the game is somebody, one, one person at a time, plays the role of the guru. And then other people in the group ask the guru questions. And then the guru takes a deep breath, and then shares an answer. Very simple. Yet, out of this process, I guarantee you, every single time, if people are sort of in that right mode, you can really get some interesting stuff out of it. So, if you guys are excited about this, if you guys are looking forward to seeing what comes up to the surface here on tonight's episode of Paradigm Shift Radio, then please post an 1111 into the live chat, get some feedback, and shout out to everybody who is in the live chat as it is right now. And shout out to everybody who's listening to this outside of the live chat and also in the future. If you're in the future, then uh, yeah, shout out to you also. Because this show is obviously recorded and you can find all the past episodes online either through blog talk radio slash paradigm shift sorry yeah blog talk radio slash paradigm shift radio or through paradigm shift which is the main website forward slash psr and also if you have not yet be sure to like facebook.com slash paradigm shift radio and of course for myself if you want to get connected with me you can find these links inside of the show notes as well through the blog talk subscribe to my youtube channel for all the past episodes on there as well as lots of other inspiring conscious media there if you haven't checked that out there's literally like so much content there it'll take you like months to go through it all but in a good way because you'll be able to space it out and really get some stuff out of it. You can subscribe to my YouTube at youtube.com slash skullbabylon and of course share that with your friends. This show is a tool to be able to help shift consciousness and to be able to help plant those seeds. So if you're listening to the show, even not live, please continue to share it with your friends and invite them to tune in. This is a really awesome opportunity and obviously we've been doing it for over 100 episodes and things have been working out pretty nicely. And the only other thing I need to tell you guys, those of you who don't know, is that the radio show is a branch of a bigger project, as I said, ParadigmShiftCentral.com, and it is more so than anything about encouraging the ongoing creation of physical Paradigm Shift communities across the globe. There are a bunch of them across the globe. I'm in London, Ontario, Canada. We encourage you to create physical conscious community where you are to continue the conscious conversations. So if you if you like what you hear on tonight's episode take some of those ideas with you and bring them into the conversations that you have with people on a regular basis. So, we're going to get right into this episode, and uh, to do that, we uh, I- I'm going to volunteer to be... Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't be the guru right away. Let, let's get let's get our good buddy Michael Brazel on to be the guru. And uh, the way how we're going to do this, if you guys have a question for the guru, I want you to send me a private message through the live chat. 
or if you're not in the live chat, then do it by sending a message to facebook.com slash paradigm shift radio, and I'll keep an eye on that. So it could be a question, like a generic question, and you'll, you'll get a feel for it. You'll get a feel for it as we as we go along. So I'm gonna. I, I'm looking forward to being the guru, and uh, maybe we'll we'll sort of swap in. But but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the flow here. And then the people who are calling in, you'll get a you'll get a chance. This is how we'll do it. We're sort of leapfrog it. So when you call in, you'll get a chance to ask the guru question, ask the present guru question, and then from there. We're going to leapfrog it where the next person who was asking the questions becomes the guru, and then the next caller will ask them the questions. So actually, okay, we'll do it this way. We'll bring on Michael. We'll get him to ask me a question. I'll play the guru for, for first just to demonstrate, and then we'll bring on another caller, and then Michael will play the guru, and then we're just going to go from there. And really looking forward to getting some new callers on the air tonight, and we'll just do a couple questions each, and uh, yeah, we'll really make the most of our time here. So again, if that makes sense for you guys, post Post a, post a 777, spicing it up a bit, into the live chat, and uh, we're going to move along with this as it is. So again, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. This is going to be a fun episode. I know it. And uh, yeah, let's bring let's bring on our good buddy, Michael Brazel. So Michael Brazel, if you're ready, we're going to bring you back on to Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. <laughs> How's it going? It's going, you know. We're all Usually still here. Is. Another day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good stuff. Cool, man. So this game, you, you have you ever played this game before? This game is my life. <laughs> this game is just, oh. Well, that makes you sense. know, it's like, I, I, this is all I do all day long. Every day is get asked questions about mm-hmm. everything and anything. So. <laughs> yeah. And, and and I guess, you know, even just before we get into this, really expressing like where we're coming from with the intention behind this is the idea that we want to help people realize that regardless of what you've read on a book, regardless of what you've seen on the internet, regardless of what you've heard somewhere else, there is a level of wisdom that is already inside of you. And this goes into the idea that so much of what we're doing isn't necessarily a process of rem- of, of learning, but rather a process of remembering, remembering what we already know, our innate connection to reality and understandings of bigger concepts and understandings that, you know, this physical reality isn't all there is and that there's more to it that can't necessarily be measured with common scientific tools and, and just the, the ways and the processes and the attitudes that we can approach in order to be able to go through life with more mindfulness. That is essentially what the objective is, is to bring mindfulness into anything and everything that we do. So, yeah. Michael, do you understand You understand the rules of the game? This is pretty simple. Kind of, yeah. We just ask questions Kinda. and give the answer, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> you okay. know, it, it, just for everyone, too, just, just remember that you can't get it wrong, you know. These are exactly. this is a great chance to. I mean, because people always ask me when I for the work that I do, they they always ask, well, how do you do it? And the idea is, you just don't. You just show up and do it. And if you're participating in the show tonight, then you're right where you're supposed to be. So don't feel like you can't step into that role because we've all given advice to someone at some point in our lives. So if you've done that, you've been the guru for somebody at some point That's in your. Right. And this is just another way to extend that to a place where we get asked questions about something, you know, you might not think you know about on the conscious level, but that subconscious part of you that connects to the everything, that interconnected mm-hmm. is right there beneath the breath. Yeah. Yeah, and again, like bringing in understandings of what's actually happening here, it's almost similar to the, um, you know, whether you're talking, whether you're calling it channeling or not, uh, it's a very simple idea that consciousness sort of exists outside the body and our mind, our brain is an antenna and we can tune it to consciousness to different ideas at any given moment. So don't worry about what may or may not be in your head because your your brain is just the antenna. So we're going to we're going to bring this, we're going to bring this into practice and your answers can be as short and sweet and humorous as you want them to be. So we're going to we're going to make it we're going to make it fun. So okay, let's let's yeah. demonstrate. Let's get this game started. So Michael, I'm going to get you to ask me a question and then uh from there we'll uh we'll switch it over and uh we'll get some other callers on and then you'll switch over into the guru into the guru mode. Right. And of course guru, guru <clears throat> just means What's the te- what's the technical definition of guru? Guru would just mean like just teacher, 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 sensei, teacher. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, and in this case, we're embodying the teacher that is like the universal knowledge yeah. that again is already inside of us. So, yeah, that's the idea yeah. that we are all gurus of ourselves yeah. in some way, and being able to help others see that as well. So, okay, I'm gonna all right. Well, let me just just like get into the zone here. So. You gotta put on a special hat or like. (laughs) 
Okay, I think I'm good here. All right. Okay, all right. I am ready uh, for your question. And and when you ask a question, you have to go. You have to say. You go. You say, "Guru, oh guru." That's that's, that's the simple rule. So you say, like, "Guru, oh guru." Dot dot dot. Guru. Okay. And guru, you can be as serious oh, guru. or as stupid as you want. So okay. Go guru, ahead. oh guru. What's the meaning of life? Life, in itself, is about the experience. The meaning, which we get out of it, is the meaning we put into it. The lessons that we learn, and most importantly, our ability to react with consciousness and mindfulness in any given moment. Life is an opportunity for us to be able to step into all of what we can be, to be able to let go of all that we are not. For in each moment, you are you, becoming more of who you are. Michael is Michael, even when he is figuring out who Michael is not. And you are you, even when you are figuring out who you are not. Because life, like many things, like all things, some may say is neutral. Neither good nor bad. Equally good, equally bad. The yin, the yang, the union of the two. The meaning of life is to experience and to find happiness within any given moment. To be happiness in any given moment. Okay. All right. Word up. (laughs) (laughs) Coming back back down off the mountain. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Round two. Round two. Okay. Give me. Give me. Give me another one. I'm ready. (sighs) What is the meaning of death? Hmm. Yes. A very important question. The meaning of death. Death is an essential aspect of life. Something necessary for us to be able to experience the state of this dimensional existence for what it is. Death is the teacher. Death teaches us to appreciate the frailty of ourselves, and others, of circumstances, and of things, in any moment. Death is the transformation from one state to the next. And when we let go, when we let go of our fear of death, we can see beyond the illusion of this reality. We can understand that we have come from somewhere else. And death is merely that replace, is merely that process of returning to that place. Taking death, as another guru told me, is much like taking off a tight boot. So understand that those who have experienced death are still very much a part of this existence, yet no longer bound by the limitations of this physical plane. All of us, too, shall experience this, for all of us already have. And once we are there, we will understand. That's it. And of course, there's, there's mic- micro mini deaths along the way, death of the ego and and everything like yeah. that. Of course, as well, it's a big part of it. So, yeah. 
All right. Okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll check check in with pe- people in the live chat. Post an eleven eleven if you guys if you guys think that was you guys getting the hang of this. If you guys just want to show your appreciation and stuff like that. Whew. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Now I would love to I would love to keep asking more questions. Uh, I would be happy to at, at another point in the show. But we're gonna we're gonna continue this pattern, and uh, we're gonna bring on. We'll bring on our good buddy Joel. We're gonna bring bring on our good buddy Joel, and then we got another caller from area code three one four, and uh, we're gonna bring them on to the air. And uh, yeah, and from there we're inviting and we're encouraging more people to come on to the air. So we got a few eleven elevens in the live chat. So thank you so much, thank you so much, guys, for uh, for again being able to be a part of this show. And uh, I'll keep an eye open if again if you guys have questions. I'm keeping an eye on the Facebook page. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Oh, and of course, we'll talk about the draw for the shift buttons on all that. We'll do that later in the show, but you guys know how to do that. So, okay, all right. Well, yeah, no, that was that was it's fun. Like honestly, like I, I want to keep doing that, but I want to hog it. So we'll uh, we'll let others experience the fun. So, okay, Michael, we're gonna bring on our good buddy Joel, and uh, he's gonna have some questions for you. Okay, so Joel, right. if you're ready, Joel, if you're ready, bringing you back on to Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hello, Joel. Hello, Joel. H- Hello, Joel. I'm sorry. I, I, there you go. <laughs> cool. All right, Joel. We'll uh, we'll we'll get right into this. I'll uh, Michael. You you get in your zone, and uh, Joel will ask a question once he once he's ready. So, Michael, just let us know when. I'm here. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> and remember right. to say "Guru O oh, Guru" first. Uh, that's the that's the only rule. So. <laughs> Guru, oh Guru, what is the vibration of sound? Hmm. Hmm, that's a good question. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you would bring this guy on (laughs) us. Oh, the vibration of sound. Is that no, that's not supposed to be like a trick question, is it, Joel? Like, could you no, reword that maybe? Inspired, it was inspired by me looking at my drum bass drum. Okay. That's all right. No, it's a good question. Go for it. Know? There's no such thing as bad questions, you know, of or bad not. answers with this. You just whatever comes up comes up. That's the whole thing with channeling. Whatever comes up comes up. So the vibration of sound is that everything moves in concert with everything else. We're all interconnected. Just as you would tap the top of that drum, everything's fed by the vibration. Just like we're speaking on this blog talk channel, everything between all of us is being impacted by the words we're all speaking, which is why it's so powerful for each of us to step into that place of being guru. Even in the silence, sound is still moving because our hearts are constantly beating in rhythm with the earth. And as the core of the earth moves and spins, it's creating that vibration that comes up through our feet. It resonates with the beating drum that's in our chest. And it moves us. And it's all part of the dance. This whole thing we are all doing here is part of a big dance. And without the music, there isn't going to be any dancing. So it's all about the dance, you know. Mm. Nice. I like that. Thank you, Guru. That was good. Namaste. So we'll do we'll do we'll do another question and then we'll switch it up. Go for it. Yeah. Guru oh guru. How does water heal? Water is the essence of life. Water teaches us to be patient. It teaches us to move. It teaches us to be hard. It teaches us to be soft. It teaches us that transformation is okay. It teaches us that at some point we'll evaporate into nothingness and also return back to the ocean. Water is a powerful teacher. And water teaches us to be fluid, which many of us are not. Many of us hold on to rigid belief systems and rigid patterns, rigid 
connections to our addictions. And water teaches us that it's okay just to let go. You know, water is constantly letting go. And that's the beauty of water is it just teaches us to let go. And, and sometimes that's all we need in order to heal is just to let go for just a moment. Like the clouds letting go of the rain. You know, just let go for a bit. There you have it. Cool. Awesome. Joel, does that suffice? <laughs> <laughs> Are you satisfied? With the we should have like a little gong that we ring like when the answer yeah. is like satisfactory. Dong. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. That was beautifully done. That was, that was. Very cool. And and again, like, you know, each one of those questions could just like branch into a whole nother episode. Yeah, uh, no doubt. So you yeah. these down. You know, these are good questions for, <laughs> for future shows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so Michael, just sticking with the format, um, are you going to be tuned in for the rest of the show? Yeah. Give or take? Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, if you're if you're around, I mean, depending on whether or not we have extra callers, I'll be happy to bring you on. But uh, for now, we'll uh, we'll just switch you over to mute and stuff like that. And Perfect. Of course, add Michael at M Brazil on Facebook, and also check out BlogTalkRadio.com slash Michael Brazil for his episodes throughout the week of awesome stuff he does. And he's so awesome, Michael. You're so awesome. Thank you, Michael. Hey. 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 <laughs> Awesome. All right. Okay, Michael, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon enough, man. All Thanks right. for being here. Cheers. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so, ooh, see, because, like, right now, okay, we're looking for people to call into the show. Uh, there's actually a caller on air code 314, but I'm not entirely sure if they're uh, looking to be brought onto the air. So, caller from air code 314, if you're looking to be brought onto the air, press 1 on your keypad. Yeah, there they are. There they are. They're looking to be brought on. Perfect. All right, so in the meantime, guys, we're looking to uh, leapfrog this. So, after this caller, there's no other callers. So that's where we're going to want somebody to call into the show, especially if you've never called into the show before, and especially if you're uh, second-guessing yourself. This is all the more reason to do it. So we're going to we're gonna just roll with that, and we're going to assume that there's going to be people here when we need them. So call up from air code 314. We're going to bring you on to Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hello. Hello, Hello call. My name is Dor. H- Hello, Dor. Welcome to Paradigm Shift Radio. Okay. Doris, like in Doris Bay. Case of Doris. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Now, Doris, do you do you understand the rules of the game? Do you understand what we're yes, looking for here? Uncle rule. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uncle. All right. And and uh, okay. So, jo- Joel, you're you're ready, or we'll give you a second to get ready, and uh, let let Doris. Sorry, is it Doris? Yes. Yeah. Dor- Doris. Okay. So Doris. we'll let. Door, okay, well, Joelle, we'll let her know when you're ready, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm quiet for right now. So go ahead, you guys. Okay, Doris, when you're ready. Oh, Guru, oh, Guru, what is the meaning of blue? Just to reiterate, you said blue as in the color of blue? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Blue encapsulates a sensation of coolness. It's to experience the inverse of the warmth that we see during the day, experiencing the rays of the sun, the warmth of the earth. Blue is its contrast to experience the subtlety, the calmness, to open ourselves to to receive. to be in a place of stillness and appreciation, to encapsulate our, or capture our imagination and flow. Blue embodies expression. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Ne- next question when we're ready. Oh, Guru, oh, Guru, what's the meaning of companionship? Companionship takes many forms. It's driven by the intent of the one doing the seeking. Some use it to fill a void within. 
others who feel, feel a greater sense of completion use companionship as to amplify their experience of life in camaraderie and brotherhood, sisterhood, and matrimony. To experience life beyond singularity and to create in conjunction with another. At highest expression will be not out of need, but out of the desire to grow and to expand beyond previous limitations. Without it, one is still whole. With it, one grows to the next level. Mm. Very nice. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, thank you, Joel. That was good. I'm just touching in with uh, with the audience here, and those are those are great questions as well. Uh, looking for another person to call into the show right now, so that we can sync things up. Um, in the meantime, we'll uh, we'll ask another question for for Joel, uh, just to create a little buffer time and to give him another chance to guru it up a bit, so to speak. But again, for people looking to call into the show, you can call in using an actual phone or through Skype. Skype's probably the easier way for a lot of you. And to do that, in the Blog Talk Radio link, you'll see a Skype button up near the top, near, like, somewhere in there, and then click that, and it'll launch your Skype, and then it doesn't cost you anything, and then you can get into the show super easy that way. So if you don't have a phone, don't worry about it. If you have Skype, you can still call in. And those of you looking to call in on a phone, call in through the guest call-in number at 347 347- Five three nine five four nine three. Again, that number is listed at the top of the Block Talk page. So uh, let's. Um, in the meantime, like I said, let's let's do another question. Let's do another question for, for Brandon, Joel. So uh, yes, yeah. also mentioned that some individuals in the live chat, like Robert Long, for instance, are saying you know they can't uh, call in whatever. But maybe you could introduce the chat itself as a forum for people to simply pose a question, maybe in all capital letters. To stand out so that doesn't get too complicated about private messaging or anything like that. Yeah, if you guys want to do that, we'll do that. So if you have a question question, then use all caps for your question, and I'll keep my eye open for that. And, uh, yeah, that because we do want to get in questions from the live chat as well. But more so than anything, we want to have more people invited on to uh, be the guru on air for us. So, uh, okay, let's do – Let's do. Um, is there any question in the live chat? Or, or Doris, did you have, do you have another question for Joel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Joelle. all right, so we'll do that then. Okay, so go ahead. Oh, Guru, oh, Guru, what is a chair? This Guru needs his ear sharpened or his volume heightened. I did not hear the end of the question. What is a chair? A chair. Chair, like a chair you sit in, chair. Yeah. Mm. Chair, like any manifested object, is the end result of someone's imagination. It is a response to a perceived need or a desire for greater comfort. A chair can represent stability, relaxation, to ease one's burden, to sit back and observe. Right on. That works. Cool. Okay, all right. So thank you again, Joel. Now, um, we'll, uh, again, still waiting for another caller to call in, but we're going to see if we can get some, uh, going to see, if, okay, we're going to bring in some questions from the live chat, and we're going to forward those to, to our friend Doris here uh, to be able to get her, uh, give her the chance to, to be the guru. So, um, Joel, Joel, I'm going to put you on mute for now. Is that okay? That's cool, brother. Cool, man, and uh, we'll keep you we'll keep you uh, close by in case we want to bring you back on and everything. So we'll uh, we'll do that. And thanks again, man. That was that was awesome. And, and of course, post your profile into the live chat, and we'll include it into the show notes as well, and people can connect with you through Facebook. So we'll do that. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. All right. So um, okay. So Doris, you're still with us. Yes. Awesome. All right. So, Doris, we have we have a question from the live chat. So, you you are ready to be the guru now and uh just take a deep breath and let me know when you're ready and then I'll ask the question to you.
Okay. Okay. Guru, oh guru, what can you do to convert negative energy around you? Energy is in and it's out. It moves around. You take a deep breath to release the dead energy into live energy. The air brings it into the lungs and it removes it out to space. You sit still to decompress what's inside the outside. We're all connected, so we close the doors, we close the windows, and we breathe. I think breathing is the most important part of decompression of negative energy to positive energy. I think focusing on your heart is the best and the most positive thing you could do. Thank you, thank you, Guru. And that question, that question was from from our good friend Hayden Baker. So thank you, Baker, uh, Hayden Hayden Baker as well. And um, it looks like in the meantime we've actually got another caller who is called in. So we got a caller from Air Code Seven Zero Seven. So we're going to bring them on and uh, we'll give them a chance to ask uh, even, even just a couple questions, and then uh, we'll just sort of space it out a bit from there. So that was yeah, no, this is this is really fun. I'm I'm having fun. Doris, are you having fun? Yes, I am. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. And uh, just out of curiosity, where where are you calling from, location wise? I'm calling from Houston. Houston. Awesome. Well, thank you so well, much this for is calling. The same Louis number. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna bring on caller from Air Code Seven Zero Seven. So caller from Air Code Seven Zero Seven, if you're ready, bring you on to Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hello, caller. Can you hear us? Yes. Hello. Awesome. Hello, caller. Welcome to Paradigm Shift Radio. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's uh, Ariana from Vacaville. Oh, snap. It's Ariana. Hey, Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Hi. to the show. Awesome. Okay, this is this is going to be fun. I'm I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you called. You're like the first person in the live chat, too. So thanks for being super excited and eager and helping out the show. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so um, Ariana, if you got some questions for the guru, we'll uh, we'll move forward with that. So Doris, uh, prepare yourself. Just take a breath and then let Ariana know, and we'll go from there. Okay, Ariana. All right, guru, oh guru, how can one regain lost motivation? Motivation. Is desire. What did you seek? It's like the hermit in the tarot cord. He puts up the light and searches for what he seeks. He goes forward into life searching. So the motivation lost is something you do not want. The things that you're living, the things that you're doing today, the things you do not want. You need to sit and reflect. What do you really want? Who do you really want? What do you want to attain? What do you want to What do you want to see? What do you want to go? Who do you want to be with? What is your worth? Motivation is the things that you desire. Hmm. Nice. Okay, all right. Next next question when we're ready. Okay. Um Guru oh Guru, where does healing come from? Healing comes from forgiveness. Forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others, forgiveness of this life itself. Healing comes from Enjoying, to take joy in the moment. Find joy in the breath. Find joy in the walk. Find joy in the food. Healing comes from speaking life into your water, life into your food. Saying thank you, water, 
pleasant, you're pleasant, you're clear, you're wonderful. Thank you for healing me. Thank you, friend. Thank you for being a good friend and companion. Thank you for healing me. Thank you, heart. Thank you for healing me. Healing comes from within and without. Hmm. Very nice. Awesome. All right. Well, Doris, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, uh, we'll I let Ariana. It. Thank you. Yeah. No, that was that was great. And and like, have you sort of um, <clears throat> have have you ever sort of like done something like that before? You seem like you're you're pretty familiar with uh, sort of giving advice, so to speak. I've done it before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, thanks. I've, thanks. For, <clears throat> go ahead. No, I, I I like it. I I like um, sharing. I like receiving. Mm-hmm. I love uh, people. It took me a while to get there because I was uh, I hated everything and everybody, and I hated myself. Now I find that divinity in everybody I meet. I find a joy in life, and so as as I grow, others grow. As others grow. I grow. I feed off with them, and I hope I see positive things on to other people. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Um, maybe I don't know. Unless Ariana, do you want to do you want to maybe ask one more question for Doris before we let her go? Oh, would that um, would that be okay, Doris? Yeah, that's what you want. I'd be ha- I'd be happy I to. Think- I, so, Ariana, yeah, if you even just in kind of taking in what Doris was just saying there, if that helps you formulate a new question in some way, we'll uh, we'll do that. So, Doris, if you're ready, are you ready? Yes. You're always ready. Okay. All right. So, Ariana, if you have a question, then we'll do that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I had those written down. I need to think a minute. Do you guys have a question in the live chat, maybe? Let's see. Do we have an immediate question in the live chat? Okay. Here's here's the question from the live chat for you, then. We'll do that. Okay. So, Doris, the question from the live chat. Guru, oh, guru, is the universe infinite or finite? To grow infinitely must... Okay. No, yeah. Let me just... Okay. Guru, oh, guru, is the universe infinite or finite? Mm. It is infinite. It is expanding. It is ever growing. It is it is layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. You close your eyes and you see darkness. And in the darkness you see sparkles. And as you concentrate it was it swirls it swirls and you look in the middle and it opens up into another universe into another universe. And you get to the point where you see the grid and you go through the walls of doors of the grid and you would see whatever the your guy wants to show you. From there you go past that and then you might see another guy who shows you a a beautiful window or an eight. You go past that. And it's, it's Infinite, it is infinite, and and you you wind up on Saturn, you wind up on Jupiter, you wind up on Mars, and then you get into the atmosphere, and then you get into the void. There is nothing, and that's where the peace is. But it's infinite; it's ever flowing. Hmm. Very nice. Awesome. All right, Doris. Well. We'll we'll uh we'll let you go for now on that one. That was a that was a good point to go out on. So Doris, are you are you on Facebook? Is there a way for people to get in touch with you that you would want them to? Um, not not now, no. Okay. All right. Well feel free to tune in and call back any time. We would love to have you on again. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Doris. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye bye. Okay.
All right. So looks like we do have another caller in uh, in the live in sorry in the queue. Caller from area code five four zero. We're going to bring them on. Um, I'm just going to pull before we do that. I'm going to pull a question from the live chat to ask to you, Ariana. So I'm just going to forward it to you. So Ariana, are you are you ready to get into into guru mode? Yes. Okay, and I think you're, you're gonna do you're gonna do a pretty good job of this. I've I've seen your YouTube videos. I know you can talk forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So just take a breath and let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Guru, oh guru, what is the soul? Hmm. Soul is the part of us that lives on. We can feel it within us, observing and watching and enjoying this life. It's endless. I think of it as our higher self. When I meditate, I see the soul. I feel it but it's also connected to that greater consciousness, universal consciousness in which we are all connected. And that's it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, so we'll uh, we'll bring on another caller and we'll get them to ask some questions and, uh, and we'll do that. Um, since it is just at the top of the show, I just want to be able to uh, take a moment here to be able to let people know that, as per usual, here on Paradigm Shift Radio, every single week we do a draw for the free shift buttons. And, of course, the shift buttons, uh, as Ariana knows, are awesome tools that we have available to order at any time to support the community. And you can order those at ParadigmShiftCentral.com slash buttons and also find them through Facebook.com slash Paradigm Shift Radio. In the, uh, there's a quick order button that we added in there. And uh, to enter the draw for those, again, they're buttons that have consciousness shift shifting symbols that you can use that have the website to link people back to this radio show, to all the information on the main website and the videos and the movies, and to be able to connect with them and to build conscious community. To enter the draw for this, here's a little bit different, so make sure everybody's listening. Anybody who wants to get in the draw for this episode, please send a message to facebook.com slash paradigm shift radio. And even if you have already sent a message in the past, we're going to create a new collection of names for the draw tonight. So even if you have sent a name in, if you have sent in your name in previous weeks, send them in now again. So we're going to get a fresh batch of names just for tonight's show for the draw. So anybody who wants the free shift button, send those in, and we'll get that to you at the end of the episode. And, and Ari- Ariana, any um, testimonial about how your shift buttons have been working out for you that you want to share real quick? Oh, I love them. I always get people asking me about them, and it starts conversations. And some people are a little bit weirded out by them, but I like it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I'm just yeah. typing into the live chat right now into the shift button draw. All right. Okay. So there we go. Cool. All right. So thank you so much, everybody, for supporting the show, whether you're ordering shift buttons or whether you're sending a message for the shift button draw. Stay tuned. We got more awesome shifty goodness coming your way. So we're going to bring on the next caller for this episode who will be asking you questions, Ariana, and then we're going to get them in the uh, in the guru mode. So caller from area code five. 5- 540, we are going to bring you onto the air. So, call it from air code 540, bring you onto Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hello, ca- hey. hello, caller, can you hear hey. me? Yeah, hey, Brandon. Awesome. Call, caller, who, remind me again, who is this? Who am I talking to right now? Bobby. This is Bobby. All right, Bobby. You, you've been on the show in the past, have you not? No, I've never called no? in before. I wanted to, and this is about my fourth show, I think, but I've never had the opportunity to call in. Cool. Well, awesome. Bobby, thank you so much for calling in. And whereabouts are you calling in from? Virginia, Northern Virginia. Right on. All right. Got people all across the map tonight. All right. So, we'll uh we'll, we'll get right we'll get right into this. So, uh Bobby, we'll uh get you asking questions for Ariana and uh Ariana, let us know when you're ready. 
I'm ready. Okay. Uh, Guru Ariana, oh Guru, <laughs> how do you find inspiration? Mm. We find inspiration by exploring the things that make us happy, by looking everywhere for the things that we love, by looking outside and looking at the sky, seeing nature, and just saying, I love this, I love this, to everything and everyone. Even the people who at one point used to bother you, you can look at them and find inspiration in something they do by finding something that you love about them. And that's it. (laughs) Awesome. All right. Next question when we're ready. Uh, Guru Ariana, oh Guru, um, how does one pass from being into action doing? Mm. Trust. We have to trust ourselves and get excited about what we want and take that leap into the unknown. We're never going to know how something is going to turn out unless we try it. So we have to trust ourselves and trust the universe and just do it. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Bobby, if you got another one, we can we can make room for for another question. And and Bobby, is this like Bobby as in like Robert Bobby? Yeah, that's me, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> then that makes that makes that makes sense. Now I understand who I'm talking to. Cool, man. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. That's awesome, man. Glad you're here. Sure. Cool. All um, right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, next next question. I had, I don't have one, but uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you have one. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> Um, let's see. Guru, uh, Ariana, oh, Guru, uh, how does one, uh, manifest, uh, for physical needs? You understand what I'm getting at? Like, yeah. How does one manifest physical needs? Like like monetary sustenance. Mm. Like I've been doing this recently, and it's love, loving the things that you want or need, loving, say, money, loving having it, trusting it, that it's going to come to you when you see other people with wealth. Don't be jealous. Be excited for them. Love them. Be excited as if it's your money that you have or your whatever you need in your life. Just love it and send that energy of loving and knowing that it's already yours. Connect to that future self that already has it and imagine it flowing to you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? The secret. Have you seen that, of course, right? What's that? I just thought of The Secret, the movie. I'm sure you've mm-hmm. seen it. Yeah. Made me visualize. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ariana, for uh, being the guru with us here tonight. How did that feel? It was good. Thank you. I like it. Yeah, it's a, and this is totally a game that you know we encourage people to to do with uh with other friends and stuff like that who are you know interested in some of these uh consciousness ideas and and also as, as a practice you know you can just you can just like go up to a friend and you're just like ask me a question right and whether they're saying guru or guru you can just sort of like get in that zone and just be like hmm you know like what do what do I have inside me and then you can sort of just like use that as a chance to learn more about yourself as well because it's interesting sometimes when we get into that guru state when we're saying stuff 
we're like saying stuff that we're also listening to at the same time. So we sometimes mm-hmm. don't realize what we think about something until we're like saying it out loud. And we're just like, oh, okay. You know, so yeah, it's pretty neat. So <laughs> cool. All right. So um, let's see. We don't have another caller who's in the who's in the queue right now. So just putting out another invitation for people to call in. Uh, obviously, the format for the show is a little bit different tonight. So we're, you know, sort of sort of anticipating, expecting more people to call in. So whoever wants to get involved as the uh, next guru for the episode after after Robert, please call into the show and uh, we'll sync that up with you. And um, I got some other questions that came up through the live chat and I could probably ask some questions to Robert myself in, in the meantime. So we'll uh, we'll try experimenting uh, with that. So in the meantime, though, uh, Ariana, thank you so much for being on the show. And uh, of course, Ariana is one of our fellow Paradigm Shift community admins for Paradigm Shift Vacaville, California. So if you happen to be in that area, then you can find her or you can find the group through Facebook, run a search on Paradigm Shift Vacaville, and you will find her there. And uh, I'm sure you can, What do? It, what's your Facebook profile? Is it easy or is it like some something complicated? Oh, I'm, I'm about to post it. So. Okay, perfect. All right, and we'll, we'll include it. We'll include it into the show notes. And uh, it's, it's Ariana Kramer, um, if you run a search on that with a K, K-R-A-M-E-R, and you can find that. And then, of course, for everybody who is also in the live chat, just if you guys want to, take a moment now to post your profiles into the live chat and you guys can connect with each other. So we got about 28 users in the live chat. So if you guys want to post your Facebook profiles or even any other websites, please feel free to do that. And please feel free to just like collectively add one another. And uh, yeah, get like 28 more friends on your Facebook connection. So very cool stuff. All right, cool. Uh, Ariana, was there anything else you wanted to share or say before before we put you on the before we switch things over? Uh, no, I'm just really grateful for this. I really <laughs> needed it. Awesome. Yeah, you were you were great too. It resonated like truth, so it was really nice. Mm-hmm. For sure. Thank you. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, Ariana. And uh, stick around. If we uh, need callers, we could always bring you back on later in the episode if that's cool. So. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks, Ariana. We'll talk to you soon okay. enough. Okay. Bye. All right. Um, there we go. Okay. And so, Ro- Robert, you're still Bobby, here. Bobby, Brandon, it's Bobby. Stop calling me you, Robert. Okay. Why isn't your <laughs> well? Isn't your like profile name Robert? Yeah, but my, everybody calls me Bobby. I'm just Robert okay. at work. Yeah, uh, okay. Right. Bobby, it is. Uh, All right. Please. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry, dude. Okay, so we'll, um, yeah, I got some other questions in the live chat, which you may have seen. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, there was one that I saw earlier. I don't think I was, I don't think it was posted by you, though, or else I was sort of, yeah, okay, it was posted by someone else. All right, I so, have my questions. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know I was going to have to answer them, man. <laughs> I didn't understand the rules. This is really kind of, I'm kind of nervous here. <laughs> oh, it's 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 a good it's a good chance it's a good learning opportunity just like everything else so all right okay so um let me know let me know when you're ready and uh, I'll I'll ask you I'll ask you a question so okay guru oh guru what is synchronicity trust being in the flow of the energy of the universe being open to it everything is about intent so it's your intent to be synchronized you will that's all that's all or that's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Okay. Let me just see. Um, okay. I'm actually. We're gonna bring on. We're gonna bring on uh, our good buddy uh, Michael Brazel onto the show, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna help with some extra bonus questions, and then we might sort of juggle things around, and maybe maybe uh, Michael and myself can jump in for a couple more guru sessions, and uh, we'll get another question here for Bobby. So Michael Brazel, if you're if you're ready, we're gonna bring you back onto the air here. Here we go. 
Oh, what's up? What's are you, up? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm, I am. Yeah, like, we're here. Dove across yeah. your desk to grab your microphone or something. I'm sure. So, <laughs> like, oh, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Michael, I gotta get you to ask a question for for Bobby. Um, so Bobby, let us let us know when you're ready. Go ahead. Hmm. Guru, oh guru, what is poetry? It's art from the soul. Mm. It's it's like any artist. It's a need for creation. It's a mm. need to 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 commu- communicate something. And most of the time, it's pain. Now that's mm. that's the inspiration for most people to get that out. Mm. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll we'll do uh we'll do we'll do one more. Um, is that okay with you, Bobby? Sure. Cool. All right. Okay, Michael. If you're if you're ready, do another. One. <sighs> guru, oh guru, what is love? Well, pain, (laughs) (laughs) inspiration, Mm. long, love is probably the one thing that is the hardest to define out of all of our emotions, and the most illogical, because Make people insane when it's really, really good. <laughs> it's really, really painful. <laughs> so, and sometimes it adds spice, right? Right. <laughs> it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. <laughs> and it's. Uh, it has a lot of impact on other areas of your life that that uh and it infuses it permeates everything if you have a joy of living, then yes, love is infinite, so you love everything, and even the bad in people you have compassion for them, and you love them because of that so you know if you can tap into it and oh and let your cup run it over and be thankful for everything. Then it, it is the, the 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 goal of everything. I mean, that's what we do, mm-hmm. and this, and everyone. So. There you go. <laughs> cool, awesome. Thank you, Bobby. You did great. Sure. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I was uh I was actually gonna ask um a couple questions to Michael. We'll put him we'll put him back in, in <laughs> the guru seat. Um then I might jump in afterwards and then we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, get Joel uh on here. And we're also again just inviting more people. If you guys wanna call into the show, please feel free to do so and you can uh step in as the uh guru for the episode and uh really again just be open to this as uh you know, even if it's a bit outside your comfort zone, that's not a bad thing. So just be able to uh embrace it as an opportunity. So very cool stuff. All right. Um Bobby, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch you over to mute. Is that is that okay? We'll, uh, yeah, man. See you in the live chat. Awesome. All right, and uh, Bobby, um, how can people find you on Facebook? Or did you, if you want to share that? Yeah, I already put it in the room. Uh, it's Bobby Long Amia A M I E N S. Awesome. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. So thanks. Thanks again, Bobby. Thank you so much for for being in the show. Good, right. good to thanks, connect to you. Brandon. It was fun, man. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. See you next yeah. time. Cheers. Bye. All right. Uh, Michael, here we are once again. Here we are once again. <laughs> like <for> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put some questions. I'm gonna send some questions your way. So. Uh, 
Whew, let's just take take a moment here. Take a moment here to relax and again inviting people to call into the show if you guys want to get involved. Uh we got no extra callers in the live ch- in the live queue as it is, but we can always bring on some of our other friends. Yeah, call so, in. Uh, this is a good time. Yeah. This is- you know, the Buddha used to teach like this. They co- this is where the sutras came from, these question and answer. Like, he never really brought anything out. It was like, this is how we really learn, through these, like, ask a question, see what comes up. So this is, this is good stuff. So call For in. Sure. For sure. All right, okay. Be the Buddha. Okay. Be the Buddha. Be the- <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So, um, Michael, let, let me know. Let me know when you're ready. Let's do it. Okay. Guru, oh guru, do aliens exist? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, of course, aliens. I mean, it would be it. It would be silly to think that we are all that there is, as far as you know life in this universe but there's even life on this planet that's alien to us you know we haven't barely explored the seas yet there are you know infinite number of little microorganisms and parasites and things that are moving through our bodies that many of us have not even thought to explore um so there are aliens you know those which are extraterrestrial beings but those that are foreign to us and sometimes we consider each other to be alien like This is why it's so important to reach out and to connect to each other so that we're not so foreign. We can interconnect. We can understand, you know, not only how our bodies work, but how our bodies work in relation to how we connect to each other in the world around us. So, yeah, aliens exist, you know, as far as extraterrestrials. Yeah, they exist, too. (laughs) Can Can you expand on that last point? Yeah, yeah. So extraterrestrials. Yeah, so... um. If you just look at the technology we have, I mean, these ideas came from somewhere. You don't have to dig too far back into our history to see that we've been influenced by beings, whether we want to call them angels, demons, or otherwise, there has been influence that has, you know, sometimes manifested in our ancestors, you know, copying down schematics for, you know, flying chariots, and the Vedas have mention of... Um, extraterrestrial beings in their spacecraft and the Vedas are some of the most um, some of the oldest of the sacred texts you can look in the hieroglyphics you can look in you know almost any tradition has mention of beings that are not of this world so of course you know it's it's it'd be it'd be arrogant I think to assume that this is it and we started seeing more of them show up, more sightings of unidentified flying objects. And the idea of E.T. started entering our consciousness the minute we started you know, creating weapons that could destroy the world. So I think they're here. <laughs> they may be listening now. They may be subscribers <laughs> to Paradigm Shift Radio. They may even win the button draw tonight. Who knows? That's, yeah, they may even be hosting this show right now. <laughs> they I mean. may be hosting this show right now. Just don't know. <laughs> Just don't know. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get another question for you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Who? Guru. Oh, guru. How does one develop more psychic abilities? <laughs> well, you can listen to blogtalkradio.com backslash Michael Brazel. <laughs> you would. Uh, the the thing that inhibits us typically from developing our psychic ability is trust. Everything we do within spirituality is fueled by trust, and that's one of the hardest things to to understand. So people are posting the force, and the force we really want to use is the force of trust. And, and force is just something that's and trust is something that's so subtle. Um, it is the thing that will block us from love. It will block us from connection. It blocks us from that deep inner listening that we have. So trust in, in, in letting go of what's holding you back from trusting yourself without condition. Because in order to really tap into our psychic abilities and to be psychic ninja warriors, right, we want to trust ourselves without condition when we let it all go and we're able to step into that place where we just know 
that we are divinely guided by that thing within us that's our that's our co-pilot. The intuition's been with us since the beginning, and it'll be with us well past. It's that spark of the divine that speaks through us. It's what's answering the question when you're being asked the oh guru or oh guru question. So we're all able to tap into it as long as we're able to trust ourselves without condition. So work on removing those blockages to trust and defining what trust is for you and then going into that place of release. Mm. There you have it. Cool. Awesome. All right. Okay, cool, man. Whew. Okay, how how are we feeling? Just checking in. Yeah. So good. Good stuff here. Powerful. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Yeah. Got a lot got a lot of energy. Got a lot of energy going on right now. So whew. Okay. All right. Um now let's see. Uh we don't have any new callers, uh, as it is right now. So again, just encouraging our friends to call into the show. Uh, absolutely to get involved with this. We would love to get some new callers in. So if you're if you're one of like the billion people listening into the show right now, then please call in. And uh we'll uh I think I think we'll we'll get we'll get our friend Joel uh on onto the show again and um we might even be able to bring on our friends uh Doris and uh Ariana again if we can sort of work our way through uh the circle again. Um, which I don't have a problem with, which I am quite fine with, and uh, yeah, because we'll just continue to be able to get some get some more ideas and some more wisdoms out there. Um, okay, maybe not. Okay, it looks like Doris uh, had to leave, but that's okay. We still got Ariana here and uh, Joel here, and um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll try I'll try doing some uh, some questions mm-hmm. as well. So uh, okay, let's get let's get Joel in here, and we'll get Joel to to ask me a question. So okay, Whew, okay. Joel, if you're ready, I'm gonna bring you on to Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hey, Joel. Well. Okay. Good, Brandon. I have a good question for you. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get ready for this one. We 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 we. Okay. <sighs> go for it. Oh, Guru Brandon. Oh, Guru. How do we interpret the messages that animals bring to us in our encounters with them in day-to-day life? Hmm. Animals, like us, are another expression of consciousness. When you look into the eyes of a creature, whatever their eyes may look like, Understand that you are looking into the lens from which consciousness observes this dimensional experience. Eyes in themselves are the infinite cameras through which consciousness records experiences and documents all that we are learning. Animals come here to show and remind us what it means to love without expectation, to love unconditionally, to expect nothing in return. Some say that animals are in some way lacking, yet what is one thing is also the exact opposite. And as such, I, as a guru, interpret the idea that animals in themselves are perhaps closer to the innate expression of source, of consciousness, of source energy. We as humans put layers upon layers of dirt, of mud, that slowly prevent the light from within us from shining out. In this process, in this process of life, we can learn from our animal friends to be like them, to remove the mud, to remove the dirt, and to be closer to that present moment. Animals practice mindfulness in the present moment. They do not worry about yesterday 
or concern themselves with tomorrow. They are here, and they are now. So as we simplify our actions, as we understand that some of the thoughts, some of the voices that we hear within our head are not necessarily who we are, it allows us to take steps towards understanding that happiness is a choice is a state of being in any present moment, as already said. So animals are our teachers, and different, animal, different animals can teach us many different things. We, as the humans, are the infinite expressions of the multitude of animals in human form. Because we, too, our consciousness and animals animals very simply are just humans in animal form so to speak so when you see them use it as an opportunity to see yourself equally as such as you are able to see yourself in everything because animals are awesome and they're funny and they make great internet videos. The end. <laughs> uh-huh. Does that suffice, Joel? I love the last four seconds of that the most. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that summed it up. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we don't have any other new callers in, but we do have our friend, uh, Ariana. So I'm going to bring her onto the air. Uh, not to put her on the spot as a guru, but we can sort of decide and see who wants to volunteer to be guru. So, Ariana, we're going to bring you onto the Paradigm Shift Radio once again. Here we go. Hello, Hi. Ariana. Hey, welcome back. Welcome to the party. Hello. <laughs> All right, who wants to who wants to volunteer to be guru? Hmm. I have a question for the guru, whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Who wants to be the guru? I'll do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go for the question then. Guru, oh guru, how can we use stories, movies, and media for personal growth? Hmm. I th- I feel that sometimes, you know, we we need an escape. We need to have our imagination enlivened and using proactive distractions that let us just let go a bit. I, I, especially now where life is so serious for so many people and there's just so much going on in the world, we can use this time to just get away and to explore um, things that are outside of us. And, and I think, you know, sometimes seeing images come to life on a screen or through a story that you're reading or um, through social media or through a, a show like this where we're able to proactively engage in um, the process. You know, but sometimes we just need to sit back and just let the story be told to us. And so I think, too, we can use things like documentaries and um, stories to help shape our own narrative. And I think on a lot of levels, we're looking to relate and we're looking to understand ourselves. So seeing someone go through a story that may be similar to ours or to see a story of love, you know, captured in, you know, a movie. Um, A good example is the recent A Fault in Our Stars, you know, which I watched and cried like a baby too. So, (laughs) you know, it moves us. It helps us to feel emotions we might not feel or to bring up ideas we might not have encountered. And that movie for me brought up tons of ideas and and thoughts about death and and watching the story unfold. And then going even further and and seeing the backstory to the movie, it was just a nice escape for a minute. And I think, you know, media gets a lot of 
a bit bad rap, and I give it a bad rap. You know, I, I I condemn it a lot, but sometimes we just need to escape a bit. It lets us have that escape. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have a question for a guru. Okay. Does uh, Joel, do you want to be... Or Ariana's going to be a guru. Okay. Sweet. All right. So, guru, oh, guru. If you are asleep while you are dreaming, who is witnessing the dream? Hmm. Consciousness. Hmm. I remember a few years ago, I started writing this a lot. I looked through my journal and I kept writing, who is behind my thoughts? What is this watching? And this was before I studied anything about consciousness. And I, I feel this in a lot of my dreams. I'll be on the surface, but then all of a sudden you kind of go back and you see more you understand more, but you're less, I don't know, emotionally drawn to everything. You're not caught up in the drama of everything. You can mm. just be the awareness, mm. truth of your being. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh Joel, you're still you're still with us? I believe. Yes, I, think. I am. Yes. Okay, mm. cool. All right. Um do we want to do you want to give a question for Ariana if you want to do another one? Okay. Ariana is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go for it. Oh, guru Ariana. Oh, guru. What is the relationship between the planets and the sun? Mm. It is love. Whenever I meditate and envision the solar system, I just feel intense love holding us all together, the warmth of the sun pulling us toward it. Without that, there would be no life. There would be nothing. It's love that moves the cosmos. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, let's see. We got about yeah. We still got like 24 minutes left in the show, and uh, totally would love to have some other people calling in to the show. So for all the people who are listening in, uh, this is this is your chance to super awesomely get involved with the co-creation of this episode and to be able to practice in this opportunity. Um, and there's still lots of. I mean, I know there's a lot of people. There's still a lot of chat going on inside the live chat. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely looking for more people to jump in. And uh, I think. Uh, Joel, can we uh can you step in as guru for for a moment? Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool, guy. Okay, okay. All right. So, looking looking to get another person uh new, a fresh person into the into the show, onto the show uh soon enough, but in the meantime, we'll um we'll ask a, another question for our guru friend Joel here. So, uh whoever anybody got a question ready? Or take a second I've to got one. one. Ariana's got one. Okay. Go ahead, you guys. Okay. Guru, oh guru, how can we communicate with plants? The key to begin that interaction is patience. See, this is something that plants have become masters of. They take their time to grow and condition themselves according to their environment. And this process, as we would measure time, takes a very long period to do. 
And when you actually spend time with plants and every day you observe them, you see how they, how vines will grow arms to reach to places where they need support, how they will intertwine with each other to make their way to the nutrients they need. You actually are able to see an inherent intelligence within them. So as you exercise your own patience to see the brilliance and the genius of the plant world, you begin to appreciate. Because their language is not a spoken language. It's one of observation and one of psychic connection where you just sit with the plant and you allow its subtlety to express its unique properties to you. This is how the information of plant essences and emerald essences as so many remedies have been created by some beautiful people that are attributed with specific properties is because these people sit in meditation with said substance or said life form to passively observe the lessons, the teachings, the inherent properties that are ignited by the plant or the gem or the stone. So one need but learn the language of patience, appreciation, and respect to tap into the unique lessons and properties of any plant, in fact, any subtle living being on this planet. There you go. Thank you. All right. Anybody? Anybody else got another question for for Guru Joel? Yeah, I got a question. Okay. <clears throat> guru, oh Guru, where does the silence go in the noise? The silence is always there. It's just a matter of what we are lending our attention to. Just as the noise is always there, there's always ebb and flow and the energy that surrounds us and the fields given by ourselves interchanging with those of others. It's just a matter of focusing on what we wish to perceive. Which filters are we going to employ? What guards do we have up that we we don't want to listen to. The beautiful, most beautiful silence of all is when we choose to exercise silence so that we can hear the noise or the rhythm that comes from our soul speaking through our heart. But it's ever-present and truly a beautiful thing to appreciate. Hmm. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, good news, and thank you, Joel. We uh, got another person who's in the queue. Um, may actually may actually be uh, someone who we know. I'm pretty sure I know who it is, so we'll find out in a, in a couple seconds. Um, but let's keep everybody... everybody we're just going to keep everyone as is. I'm not going to mute anyone just yet, but we're going to bring on, on another caller suspiciously from area code 707. I wonder who it is. <laughs> and, and we'll go from there. So, caller from area code 707. We're going to bring you on to Paradigm Shift Radio. Here we go. Hello? Hello. Oh, hey. Hi. Who could this possibly be? Uh, this is Kristen. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> hey, Kristen. <laughs> hey. How are awesome. you guys? Good. Tired, to be honest, but good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so, Kristen, uh, we sort of changed formats here. Um, did you want to switch in as guru, or do you got some particular questions that you want to ask a particular guru? Um, 
Well, I have a few questions written down. So I like you could always ask questions. yourself. That would just be yeah. insane, <laughs> but give it a shot. <laughs> um, um, who wants to be the guru? Or I can. Or who has a question? For me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the guru. Okay. Okay, Ariana's um, the guru? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay, go ahead, you guys. Okay. What is emotion? Oh, wait, I was supposed to say, oh, guru, guru. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guru, oh, guru. What is emotion? Emotion can be our guide but it can also lead us astray. We need to become aware of our emotions and really observe them instead of getting lost within them so that we can make the best choices in our lives and choose the emotions that lead us to greater heights, greater knowledge, release the emotions that hold us back we can only do that through self-reflection and paying attention to our emotions. So I think emotions are their guides to either a better life or one that we do not want. So pay attention. <laughs> and that's all. That's awesome. <laughs> that really resonates with what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Cool. <clears throat> okay. Um, I have another one. So do you still want to be the guru? Who else wants to be it? Anybody else? <laughs> Does Joelle want to be the guru? Uh, yeah, I'll volunteer for that. Okay. Okay. Oh, guru, oh, guru. What is transcending? I love that. Transcending, I think people often think that it is to overcome our humanity or to to leave its physicality and enter some theoretical angelic realm that we can only conceive of in our imagination. But I would say that transcendence really becomes the, the culmination of inclusion, inclusion of all aspects of us, of that make the makeup of our existence. That is our body, our minds, our feelings, our spirit. And to truly find the thread that combines all of these. Because when we do that, every experience that we choose to embark on has a greater liveness to it. It can be enjoyed to a greater depth. I think it invites that we can experience experience life in its maximum amplitude and its maximum joy and extremes in a healthy fashion where we can move away from needing such crazy contrast between light and dark, good and bad, in order to appreciate who we are, in order to appreciate coexistence with others, in order to ignite our imaginations and create new modes of playing with each other to create new innovative technologies. Transcendence is just becoming more of who we are, bringing all pieces, all parts together, including those we shunned away by doing the shadow work necessary to recognize the interconnectedness and the perfection of it all. And when we do that, we really bring on the next evolution of what our species is able to accomplish on this planet and beyond. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, Kristen, did you want to switch over into guru mode? Sure. Okay. Does somebody have a does somebody have a particular question in mind? Oh, Take a second. Okay. okay. Guru oh guru. 
what is the most effective way for us to use books for our evolution? Hmm. The effective way to use books for our evolution would be to pass on the information and books to other people and to to really dig deep within the books and what the stories of the books have to tell us and how we could tell those stories to other people and how it will make them feel and we really need to get the books out there to people and have people read more in order for their brains to work, I guess, in, in, a, in a better way because we're all stuck in TV um, and hmm. I think that's all I really got. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I, I've got a question. <laughs> okay. All right. Guru, oh guru, how can we become aware of the present moment? <clears throat> By breathing and being aware of ourselves and what we are doing in this present moment of our emotions and of our of of our awareness of of who is around us and what and and the and the nature around us and and how And hmm. and how we can keep that present moment within us. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, uh, I think that's Thank it. You. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should have a collective breath to bring ourselves back to our heart and to the present moment. Yeah. That's not yeah. a bad idea. I was thinking about doing a meditation at the end too, but yeah, let's just do that. Let's just let's just all take a breath in here. This is some some pretty uh, you know, flexing guru works here. Sort of flexing our energies. So <laughs> Alright, everyone everyone take a nice deep inhale together. So inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. All right. So we got we got another caller um, who's in the queue, and we'll see if they want to get in as guru. Um, we got about seven minutes left in the show. Like I said, I, I would like to be able to invite Michael to help sort of lead us into a closing meditation, and we'll do that closer to the end. Uh, is that okay, Michael? Yeah, absolutely. Can you do something? Awesome. All right, so we got a caller from air code 425. So caller from air code 425, we're going to bring you onto the air. Ready? Here we go. Hello, caller. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. And caller, who who are we speaking to? This is Harmony. I thought so. Okay. Hi, Harmony. Welcome to the show again. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Okay. All right, Harmony. Um, just because we're getting a little short on time, do you want to go right into Guru mode? Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. So we'll we'll just see any anybody who feels that they have a question for I'll Guru have, Harmony. I'll ask Joel has one. Okay. Yeah. All right, Harmony. Let us know when you're ready. Okay. Okay, Harmony Guru, oh Guru, 
What do we do with the voids we feel within ourselves? If I heard you right, you said, what do we do with the void that we feel within ourselves? Yes. Um, I think the answer to that question would be dependent on perception. And each individual has a different perception of how they would um, essentially fill their individual void. Um, If you're talking um, in the instance of the void that is the space between the molecules, that is the densest matter in the universe, that would be to embrace it and, you know, be grat- have gratitude that it is there for us to hold the molecules together and provide that space for flow like a river, like the rocks uh, in a river. Cool. Awesome. I like that. I like that visual imagery, too. Very yeah. cool. All right. Okay, guys. Well, as it is right now, we only got about five minutes left on the show. Um, and I think, yeah, it would sort of be good to close with a p- proper closing meditation. So, um, Harmony, is it okay if uh, we, we got that one in, but we're going to move into our meditation now. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I, I love the meditations, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So thank you so much, uh, everybody uh, who has been involved with the show. I'm just going to put everybody on mute except for Michael Brazel. And uh, we'll get ready to go into our group meditation. And um, before I do that, just taking a moment here, I just want to be able to announce that this week's winner for the shift buttons are Samantha Monker, who uh, entered in for this week's draw. So congratulations to Samantha, who's probably tuning in live right now. You're going to get your uh, your shift buttons in the mail in the next couple of weeks. And of course, for people who want to be able to support the show and to be able to help support the ongoing creation of Paradigm Shift Radio and the shift buttons that we send out on a weekly basis, you can do that. One of the best ways is to either order some shift buttons for yourself or to sign up as a monthly supporter for Paradigm Shift for little as $2 a month or whatever works for you. And you can do that through going through paradigmshiftcentral.com slash donate or send me a message on Facebook and I'll get you synced up with that. So really appreciate it and it does help support the ongoing evolution of this project. So thank you so much everyone who's been involved. And of course, if you enjoyed this episode, please continue to share it with your friends and keep it shifty. So that said, we got about four minutes left in the show. Michael, I'm going to let you uh, go into our meditation here, and um, we'll Sweet. close it off with about 60 seconds left. So I'm going to mute myself, and I'm going to play some meditation music, and Michael's going to do his thing. So here we go. All right, gurus of the world, unite. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just take a moment to settle into whatever space you're in right now. Let your eyes remain Either open or close them, whichever feels most comfortable for you at this time. Take a moment to invite the space you're in into your meditation. Bring your hands to your heart center or let them sit in your lap. Bring your awareness to the breath. Each breath is an invitation. What are you inviting in in this moment? Set your intention and breathe that intention down into the body. Hold your awareness here. Feel the beating heart beneath your hands, the solid earth beneath your body, the infinite sky above you. Coming into presence, holding the space for intention to meet reality for breath to meet body. Continue breathing here for the next few moments, allowing yourself to be held in peace and presence.
So bring your awareness back to the body, back to the breath, back to the space around you. Open up your heart center. Shake your arms, your body, your toes. <laughs> bring the body back to life and welcome back to the shift. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. There is going to be the after party hangout. You can find that at facebook.com slash paradigm shift radio. I'm going to bring our friends on and we're going to officially say goodbye to the internet here in one second. So unmuting everybody. So everybody who's here. All right, guys. Say, join me in saying goodbye to the internet. So <coughs> farewell to the internet. Bye. Have a nice night. All you beautiful <laughs> gurus you. out there. Not I'm waiting at my microphone for some reason. Well, not for some reason. It's because I love you, so yeah. Welcome right. back to Guru. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. One love. See you in the future. Bye. Thank you for listening to another episode of Paradigm Shift Radio. If you would like to connect with people where you are and continue the conversations further, then check out ParadigmShiftCentral.com slash buttons to order your supply of shift buttons to share with people to help invite them to this global project while also helping make new friends and building local community where you are. Shift buttons are tools to hack the matrix and tap into the synchronistic nature of reality to accelerate our collective awakening. Enter the promo code PSR into your order to receive additional bonus buttons to your supply. Thank you again, and one love.